Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit five, lesson three, changing elevation. Problem number one, from seventh grade, unit two, lesson seven. Decide whether each table could represent a proportional relationship. If the relationship could be proportional, what would be the constant of proportionality? A. Annie's Attic is giving away $5 off coupons. The original price, $15, is one and a half times larger than the sale price, $10. The original price, $25, is one and a quarter times larger than the sale price, $20 and the original price, $35, is 1.16 repeating times larger than the sale price, $30. Table A does not represent a proportional relationship because the original price is not consistently the same number of times larger than the sale price. Table B, Betty's Boutique is having a 20% off sale. The original price, $15, is 0.8 times larger than the sale price, $12. And the original price, $25, is 0.8 times larger than the sale price, $20. And finally, the original price, $35, is 0.8 times larger than the sale price, $28. Yes. Table B is proportional because the original price is constantly the same times larger than the sale price. For table B, the constant of proportionality is 8 tenths sale dollars per original dollar. Problem number two. What is the final elevation if A. A bird starts at 20 meters and changes 16 meters. We can write this as the equation 20 meters plus 16 meters equals a total of 36 meters. So the elevation of the bird would be 36 meters. B. A butterfly starts at 20 meters and changes negative 16 meters. We can write this as 20 meters plus negative 16 meters equals 4 meters. We can also write it as 20 meters minus 16 meters equals 4 meters. The butterfly's elevation would be 4 meters. C. A diver starts at 5 meters and changes negative 16 meters. We can write this as 5 meters plus negative 16 meters equals negative 11 meters. We can also write this as 5 meters minus 16 meters equals negative 11 meters. The elevation of the diver would be negative 11 meters. D. A whale starts at negative 9 meters and changes 11 meters. We can write this as negative 9 meters plus 11 meters equals 2 meters. To make the math easier, you can rewrite it as 11 meters minus 9 meters equals 2 meters. E. A fish starts at negative 9 meters and changes negative 11 meters. We can write this as negative 9 meters plus negative 11 meters equals negative 20 meters. We can also write this as negative 9 meters minus 11 meters equals negative 20 meters. Problem number three. One of the particles in an atom is called an electron. It has a charge of negative one. Another particle in an atom is a proton. It has a charge of positive one. The charge of an atom is the sum of the charges of the electrons and the protons. A carbon atom has an overall charge of zero because it has six electrons and six protons. And negative six plus six equals zero. Find the overall charge for the rest of the elements on the list. Neon, negative 10 plus 10 equals zero. The overall charge is zero. Oxide, negative 10 plus eight equals negative two. The overall charge for oxide is negative two. Copper, negative 27 plus 29 equals positive two. The overall charge for copper is positive two. Tin. Negative 50 plus 50 is zero. The overall charge for 10 is zero. 
problem number four from seventh grade unit four lesson eight. Last week the price in dollars of a gallon of gasoline was G. This week the price of gasoline per gallon increased by 5%. Which expressions represent this week's price in dollars of a gallon of gasoline? Select all that apply. This week the price of gasoline is G plus 5% of G. We can rewrite that as G plus 0.05 G. G can also be represented as 1 G. So we can rewrite this as 1 G plus 0.05 G or 1 plus 0.05 in parentheses all times G. 1 plus 0.05 times G is 1.05 G. All of these expressions that are written on the right hand side represent the price of a gallon of gasoline this week. We can select the expressions B, C, and E. Problem number five. Add A, 14 and 7 tenths plus 28 and 9 tenths. 7 plus 9 equals 16. Carry the 1 and bring down the decimal. 1 plus 4 plus 8 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. 43.6 or 43 and 6 tenths. B. Negative 9 and 2 tenths plus 4 and 4 tenths. Since the absolute value of negative 9 and 2 tenths is greater than the absolute value of 4 and 4 tenths, we know that our answer is going to be a negative. To find our answer, we can subtract 4.4 from 9.2. And that equals negative 4 and 8 tenths. C. Negative 81 and 4 tenths plus a negative 12. Here we're adding two negative numbers, negative 81.4 and negative 12. So we know the answer is going to be negative. 4 plus 0 is 4. Bring down the decimal. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 8 plus 1 is 9. 93.4. But these are negatives, so the answer is negative 93 and 4 tenths. D. 51 and 8 tenths plus negative 8 tenths. That's the same as 51 and 8 tenths and take away 8 tenths. So we're going to subtract 8 tenths from 51 and 8 tenths. And 51 and 8 tenths minus 8 tenths equals 51. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.